G'day and welcome to Epic eBikes. Today we're going to show you how to unlock the Bosch Smart System with an E-Plus tuning chip. This chip's compatible with bikes with the Bosch Smart System and the speed sensor mounted in your rear disc brake. You can look at the, the disc rotor and you'll see a little magnet there. That shows you that, that your model has the speed sensor in the disc. Uh, if you have the rim lock speed sensor, which is located on the rim where you inflate the tire, then a different chip is required and that's a more difficult process that we may tackle in a future video. So let's get started and we'll show you how to unlock your Bosch Smart System bike. All right, first thing we're gonna do is remove the crank arm here so we can get access to this plastic cover. We'll need a crank tool to do this. So we're gonna thread that in. Alright, next we're going to take out these three little screws here. Now we'll remove the plastic cover. Now we have access to the motor plugs. Alright, the plugs are a little trickier than previous motors, so to get easy access we're going to take off this bash guard as well. So we're going to start with these two allen keys. And then we're going to move around to the back where there's another two allen keys. There we go. Alright, here's the E Plus Smart System chip that we're going to install. So this chip will unlock the speed limit and also allow customization via the E Plus tuning app. So the first thing we're going to do is remove these two motor plugs. We'll start with the bottom one. So you can see here we've got white on the top. We've got a flat edge in line with that white and then four little pins. If we get the E-plus connector and we find the one here that has four little pins inside. And then you'll notice we've got a white mark on the top of it. So that is to line up with this white mark here. You can double check by looking inside and you'll be able to see where the flat edge is inside the plug. You want to just carefully clip that in there like that. You want to make sure you check this so that you don't bend any of the pins inside these connectors by trying to put it in the wrong way. Next, we'll get the top plug. This is a grey plug. It's got a raised rectangle here at the top. So we're going to use that as our alignment with the white dot on this plug. This is just a two pin plug. It's got two big holes and two little holes and on the E plus connector there's just two pins. So you'll feel just a gentle click when you connect those plugs. All right, so we've got the two connectors on the E plus chip here to plug back in where the motor plugs were. So we're gonna start with this one here with the flat edge and the four pins. So that one goes in the top clip, the clip closest to the crank arm. If you face that white bit up towards your seat, Put that in. It should slide in and then you've got to push it and you'll get a nice clip. Then the other plug, the same, we've got a white mark on it, we're going to face towards the bottom of your seat. You get a nice click when it's in correctly. Now we've got to tuck away all our cables and put the bash guard back on. 
In this case, I think I'm going to go over the middle of the motor and under this side of the cover. All right, we can see the E plus connectors to the chip there. We're going to tuck this plastic guard in at the bottom here. And start putting it in. Final step, we'll put the crank arm back on. Now we'll show you how to activate the chip using the app. The first thing we're going to do is turn on the bike. Then we're going to go to our phone and open the E Plus tuning app. Once the bike's on, we're going to click scan to look for the chip. Now we can see the chips popped up. We're going to click on that and you'll see the details of the chip start to load. You'll see the firmware version, whether it's advanced or standard, wheel for circumference and whether you want it unlocked when you turn the bike on or not. Click to the racing tab. We can now use speed unlock. This is how we activate the chip. So now the speed is unlocked to 50. We can change that to 35, 50 or 75. It's necessary to use the race mapping if you want it set to 75. So if we go to the tuning page, now we can see the bike is in race mode. These E-plus mappings allow you to change how the power is applied over each of the standard Bosch modes uh, in a different way. So race is the most powerful mode, and then some of the other modes have different mappings that you can try as well. Or you're welcome to create your own user mapping as well. So here you can adjust the output at each speed set here which will change how the bike feels to ride at those speeds. All right, with the E-plus app on the bars, you can have correct speed. On this Bosch display, your speed will be about half of your actual speed. All right, thanks for watching. Now that you've got the chip installed, you can enjoy your bike to its full potential without that limit holding you back. If you like these videos, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel and leaving any comments that you may have or questions. Thank you.